Ben, it is extensive. It is expensive. The defendants in this case are a 17 year old girl and a 16 year old boy. They're accused of trashing their own school just days before the end of the school year. Today, Milford DPW workers spent time washing graffiti off the front of the high school building. Messages were also found spray painted at the athletics field and across town at Fino Field. The turf field in particular uh, will probably be in the thousands of dollars, unfortunately. Police say surveillance video caught the teens in the act overnight. As a result of uh, the school resource officer conducting the investigation, uh, he identified those individuals. They did come here to the police station with their uh, mother. They were interviewed and uh, charges were filed in the Milford Juvenile Court for uh, vandalism uh, to the property. Are they Milford High School students? Yes, they are. Some of the messages are cryptic, others vulgar with references to rape. The superintendent says there have been no recent reports of sexual assaults in the school community. We're not sure what the motives were, what, what, what any of the messages actually mean. And at this point, any of it would be anything that I would say would be just speculation. This graffiti at Fino Field says in part, R.I.P. XXX, a possible reference to a Florida-based rapper who was murdered yesterday. That graffiti has since been painted over. So some of the graffiti has been erased, but there's a lot more work to be done in the days to come. Right now, there's no word on the academic status of those students who are now defendants in a criminal case. Reporting live in Milford, Todd Kaskevich, WCVB News Center 5.